It's no secret that the buy now pay later industry is struggling. To outsiders, this situation seems only destined to worsen, especially in the face of rising industry layoffs and regulators making bolder moves to control what they see as an unsafe lending sector. But beyond the headlines, we believe that the market is primed for growth. Our latest forecasts indicate that over the next four years, the number of people using these services will increase by 97% to almost a billion users globally by 2027. In this video, we consider this research and discuss two emerging opportunities within Buy Now Pay Later. Opportunities that can't be ignored by providers looking to beat the odds in this sometimes controversial industry. Given the success of Buy Now Pay Later with consumers, it is becoming increasingly difficult for new vendors to compete against established players. But an alternate market with plentiful opportunity and much less competition is B2B Buy Now Pay Later, where rather than consumers being offered low-cost repayment plans by retailers, it is businesses being offered low-cost repayment plans by their suppliers. Buy now, pay later providers who seize this opportunity may find these arrangements more profitable, as the average amount borrowed will be higher than the typical amount borrowed by consumers. We also anticipate high levels of enthusiasm for buy now, pay later among suppliers, many of whom, given today's economic uncertainties, will appreciate the opportunity to offer their customers deferred payments, while at the same time receiving upfront payment at point of sale. These growth drivers need to be balanced against the higher processing fees and credit checks associated with business lending. To ensure that providers do not lose out, we propose a minimum spend amount to ensure return on these loans outweighs associated costs. That said, there are still opportunities within B2C buy now pay later. The growth of virtual cards over the last several years and the future market growth that we project in our latest virtual cards research points to an avenue for vendors to offer consumers buy now pay later linked virtual cards, which can be used in stores that do not accept buy now pay later as a payment method. In addition to bypassing the need for retailers to manually enroll in buy now pay later schemes, this significantly reduces users' wait times compared to physical card issuance, because once the application is approved, users can use the card immediately. Klarna, for instance, began issuing virtual cards to its users in 2021 in an effort to distinguish itself from competitors offering similar services. This move helped the company to expand its scope of operations and was a driving force behind Klarna and several other vendors with similar offerings, such as PayPal and Afterpay, being recognized by Juniper Research as established leaders within the Buy Now Pay Later market. For more Buy Now Pay Later insights, check out our latest research, which discusses major market dynamics, competitively ranks the most important Buy Now Pay Later vendors, and provides benchmark forecasts to 2027 for key industry metrics across 60 countries and our eight key regions. For a sample of this paper, download the free white paper linked in the description, or arrange a quick chat with our team by emailing info at juniperresearch.com.